All right, so I'm gonna be cleaning my house today and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. I've already posted some time-lapse videos of the little spearnet scrubbers and just the simple little ways that you can use those to make your appliances and your pots and pans look brand new again um, to just make them last a little bit longer. So I have the cleaning paste here today. I have the Enviro sponge, which is gentle but scrubby on one side and it's the Enviro cloth on the other side. This sponge comes in a pack of two and they have a one year warranty, so pretty cool. And then I also have my window cloth here. Now my glass top stove or my ceramic stove top is not really that dirty because I clean it all the time with my products, but I have a little bit of burned on, cooked on grease that some of your countertops, your cooktops might have this all over. Um, so I'm going to show you a really cool way to use the cleaning paste. I'm also going to just shine up my little pot here while I'm at it. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how this works. So cleaning paste, three natural ingredients, or three active ingredients, I'm sorry. Marble flour, natural soap, and traces of coconut oil. It comes and is a solid, and this is what I used one might look like. Now this is my very first jar of cleaning paste. I've had it since I started consulting two and a half years ago. I still have a lot of stuff left and that was just from when I was cleaning my oven out just now. So I have a little bit of yuckiness in there, but it's a solid and the way you use it is you get your microfiber, your sponge or your pot scrubber wet and just gently scrub it across your cleaning paste and it makes it into a soapy consistency on whatever surface you're using it on. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this is going to work. So I'm just going to get my Envira sponge damp. Temperature of the water doesn't matter. I'm going to use the scrubby side to get my, my stove top clean. Just going to kind of rub it across the surface looks like this on my sponge. I'm going to come over here and kind of show you what it can do on your stove top. So let me move everything out of the way here. Let me just hold it. All right, just going to do a little gentle scrub. Doesn't take a whole lot of elbow grease really. I might as well clean the whole stove while we're at it. At least I'll clean half of it for you. <laughs> Didn't need a whole lot of cleaning in here, but. So I like the Enviro sponge because you can scrub with one side and you can wipe it away with the Enviro cloth side. So I'm gonna really make sure that those spots are nice and clean. Now I do have an older stove so some spots on here, I'm going to get some more cleaning paste. Some spots on here are just wear and tear. They're not actually burned on spots. So sometimes I over scrub, I'm like, oh, that's not even a burned on spot. <laughs> it's just wear and tear on my old stove. That looks like it's not a burned on spot yet. So if I can get this spot up. Now if you have anything really stubborn, if you have a really dirty stove that just hasn't been cleaned in a while, you can use these little spearnet scrubbers. So I'm just gonna use that and see if I can get the rest of it. I wouldn't push really hard. You don't have to. These little scrubbers are pretty mighty. This is the spearnet that I'm using. The one that has the blue handle is the pot scrubber. Okay, it's the spear net just with the handle on it. I kind of like the spear nets a little bit better. You can manipulate them a little bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna do some wipe away here. Looks like that might be a little bit of a spot there. Let's see if I can get that. This is not scratching my stove. There we go. Just gonna kind of wipe it up. And 
and I'm just going to dry it really quickly. Now, you don't have to dry it when you're doing your own stove. I'm just going to show you what it looks like when it is dried so you can kind of get an idea of how well it works. There you go. That looks like it is just, it's a surface, part of the, something that has actually scratched my, I can't tell if that's part of something that's burned on or not. It's kind of hard to tell. There we go, I got it. There's a little stubborn one right there. Sometimes wiping away the paste gives you an idea of what still might be there. There we go. There we go, now I got it. That was two little stubborn spots. So that again is the cleaning paste. One way that you can use that cleaning paste, it has a really nice fresh scent, which a lot of people complain. They like the house to smell clean. The cleaning paste will do that. You can use this in all different rooms of your house. I'll be showing you that today. All right, cleaning paste. I used the Enviro sponge. I used my window cloth, and I ended up grabbing my spearnet to get those two stubborn little spots. And now my stove is all sparkling. Yay, no more spots. I'm gonna do my little tea kettle next, but that's not gonna be too difficult because it's just slightly dirty. All right, keep posting. <laughs>